Hello and welcome. This is a time lapse of some cream roses. I took the reference photograph from um, my parenting laws um, garden. So as you can see, I started out with a different image on there. That was the milk ba made by Johannes Vermeer. But I decided I wanted to work um, on a different piece of paper. So I am repurposing this piece of pastel mat. The size is A3, so 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters, and this is the sand colorway. So there you can see my reference photo on the left hand side there. I just started by putting in a, a blue sky with a slight hint of yellow over it. Um, I didn't want the sky to look too blue. And then just blocking in some leaves with all different greens and a little bit of rusty oranges. So the intent of this piece was just I wanted to paint a little bit looser than a very more realistic detailed style. I felt like I just wanted to play around with some pastels that I don't use um, very much. So mostly in here I've used Art Spectrum, the extra soft, which are the big square blocks. They're lovely pastels. And I've also brought out some Schminky. Um, I don't use those very often, even though they're so beautiful. I don't know why. So that's why I thought, let me play around and get familiar. Because um, my other brands like uh, Unison and Sennelier, um, Rare, uh, Blue Earth Pastels, I'm, I'm very familiar with those. So I was playing around with my pastels here. And so I thought I, I just wanted to take the pressure off and I just wanted to come and paint a looser style um, with these iceberg, I think they're iceberg roses anyway. Maybe they're not. I don't know. So the real-time version of this will be on my Patreon, which you can click on the link below, and it will take you to my Patreon page if you were interested in seeing this. It's only an hour and 40 minutes, so as I said, compared to my usual four and a half, you know, anywhere up to 15 hours, this piece was much quicker, much looser. I'm basically just putting in pastel strokes rather than drawing in the details. And I wanted it to have more of like an Ella Prima oil painting look, which I think I may have achieved at the end slightly. I'm not 100% happy with this piece, but hey, that's okay. Not everything we create has to be perfect, right? We have to enjoy it and learn and experiment. I think that's part of the fun um, of being an artist and exploring this incredible medium. Anyway, so it's coming to an end now. Um, so please, if you enjoyed this, give it a like and you can subscribe to my channel where I release stuff every week. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.